Hi, I am Dr. Suchit Bajumdar, cardiac electrophysiologist and interventional cardiologist practicing at Apollo Multispecialty Hospital, Kolkata. I will be speaking to you about electrophysiology testing or commonly what we call as an EP testing. Now, many of you has been advised to undergo an EP testing by a doctor or cardiologist or a general physician also. So you might be wondering what does EP testing mean and why I, am be, I have been referred to an electrophysiologist for EP testing. So many of your symptoms will be a sudden increase of heart rate, uh, maybe going up to 180, 200, 220 and uh, you feel uncomfortable during that time, it lasts for some time and then it goes off and its frequency increases. Many of you may be in their 20s, 30s or 40s years of age and you think why I am having this problem. So I am so young. So all these things are due to some additional circuits in the heart which can cause this problem and that has to be identified by a test called an EP testing. So it requires insertion of a few catheters into your veins and by that we get the signals from the heart and we find out what is the cause of the palpitation. So it can be an extra circuit in the heart where it should not be. And this circuit causes uh, interaction between your normal circuit and this circuit and causes your heart rate to be very fast resulting in discomfort. Sometimes you can have a blackout also. So EP testing will identify that circuit and after identification the electrophysiologist will suggest treatment of that circuit by radio frequency ablation means they will apply radio frequency on that area and get rid of this circuit. One good thing about EP testing is that if you find a circuit and you treat it by radio frequency ablation you have more than 90 to 95 percent chance of cure of the problem. Very few conditions can be cured so uh, accurately and so that you need not be on medical therapy all over your life. Thank you.